No, not yet. Just stay seated. Okay. So, for those that weren't here, I should have the audio recording so you have this to refer to, all right? From today's classwork, you should know that two points are not enough for a parabola, right? So, in this example, if I had the point in blue over here and another point in blue over here, notice I could have two parabolas being drawn. One that opens upwards, one that opens like this, yes? Okay, you can even have a third one. Maybe it's like wider like so, but still goes through this points, but then peaks up there and goes down like this, yes? You need one more point to get a specific parabola, okay? So, so far, we have learned three points to get a parabola, probably the x-intercepts and the y-intercept, yeah? We will work on figuring out where the vertex is, like in the water balloon task, the maximum, okay? Like it is in this case, or in red, down here, it is a minimum. And then we'll talk about something called the symmetric point. The idea you've seen before is that about your vertex, you have this symmetric line. Any point you have over here has another one over there, okay? Like the two x-intercepts, like the y-intercept, and this point over here. These two points is what we need to talk about in the rest of chapter 8 going into 9. At the moment, you should be comfortable with these three, okay? Two x-intercepts, one y-intercept. How do you solve for an x-intercept? Well, that's why you have the zero product property, the focus of today's lesson, okay? Anything times zero is zero. You have to factor first to get these x-intercepts, and soon we're gonna learn these other names for them. Roots, also known as solutions. Three words all mean the same thing, okay? So quickly, we will go over this practice down here, right? Y equals x squared minus two x over eight. Notice right now it's hard to solve for your y, uh, your x-intercepts, right? 0 equals x squared minus 2x minus 8. That's hard. So let's draw a box. Let's factor it, okay? x squared goes here. Negative 8 goes here. What goes on the top of the diamond? Negative 8x squared. And the middle term here is negative 2x. And then you know that the terms are negative 4x and positive 2x. You fill that into your diamond, doesn't matter the order, and you realize that your side lengths look like this. So you have x squared minus 2. Did I mess up the sign somewhere? This is plus. Plus. Okay, and then x minus 4. All that equals 0. So what does x have to be in this first term? Okay, negative 2. And then what does x have to be in the second term? x equals positive 4. Where's my y-intercept in this original equation? y-intercept? Nope. So y-intercept, x is 0, right? So if x is 0 here and x is 0 here, you ignore those terms, y has to equal negative 8. So those are your three points. y-intercept, these two things are your x-intercepts. And here's the last thing we got to do. We got to sketch it. You need xy-axis. You will draw negative 4 over here. Here's positive 2. We're really lazy, so the way down here is negative 8. Draw a big dot. Uh, and then it goes right in the middle. 1, 2, uh, 3, right around here. Whoop, like that. Okay? And then we're done. You've sketched a parabola, and we went over zero product property. Okay? Clean up and go. See you tomorrow for your quiz.